Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem 8. Hope you're doing well out there, Wolf Elder Rakana is once again with us. Yoha. And before we begin this, that is a poignant chapter title for what happened to me today. To summarize, the great thawing happened up here on the mountain, and well... Let's just say I have a lot of repair work to do in my office. Luckily, I follow a simple rule. Keep everything at least a foot off the ground. So, nothing electronic was damaged. However, the carpet's absolutely ruined. I'm gonna have to work on that. However, you're not here to hear about that. You're here to see the rest of this, which is a trap! Chapter 8, it's a trap! See, the game wanted to make sure you knew. <laughs> This way, Princess Erica. Princess Ephraim is being kept in a cell back here. Very well, let's go. Sir Orson, how long ago were you taken prisoner? Some two weeks passed. Prince Ephraim and I were forced to surrender. We've been held captive here in this dungeon since that black day. Did you gain any news from your captors during that time? Unfortunately, no. Not a word. A daily meal was brought to us by servants from the neighboring village. They were instructed not to speak to us, and we heard nothing in the war. Tell me, Seth, how fares Rene? Rene has fallen. King Fado. The king is dead. Dead. My king. My apologies, Princess Erica. I have served you poorly. You're not to blame, Sir Orson. We must look to the future, not find fault in the past. The Grotto army pursues me in hopes of acquiring my bracelet. My brother wears this bracelet's twin, and he's in danger too. Bracelet? I remember. Prince Ephraim still wears the bracelet. And Grotto is after them? No. If that's the case, Princess, perhaps you should entrust the bracelets to someone else. No, 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 no! Don't do it. Perhaps, but... I don't trust this guy. Give them to me or to Seth. Let someone you trust guard them. If the Empire desires your bracelet, you are in danger as long as you hold it. For your own safety, your highness, please, what say you? We must not allow Keep the it. sacred stones of Rene to be taken. <laughs> Remember the last episode, what That's Seth gonna... said. He's not supposed to know that. Uh -huh. And even so... Wait. Uh... I will let you speak, Erica. Come on. Everything you say is true and sensible, yet... Sir Orson, I am sorry for this, but please give me your weapons. Seth? What are you talking about, Seth? Can't you see I'm unarmed? Do you think they allow prisoners weapons? What kind of injury have you taken that you suggest such foolishness? If I am mistaken, then I will give you all due apologies. However, there are quite a few questions I have that I cannot answer. Too many questions. Why Thank did you, no sir. enemy reinforcements come from the castle during our battle outside? Why would you escape your cell and yet leave Prince Ephraim in chains? How do you know the tie between the bracelets and the sacred stone? Thank you, Seth. But you might have also fucked up. <laughs> Just say it. Seth, there is some misunderstanding here. I... And why do you conceal a blade within your doublet? What? Very well. You haven't changed a bit, Seth. If only Erica had been alone. You, however, simply will not be deceived. Orson, what is the- Orson, why did you betray Rene? My fondest wish will be granted. To spend the rest of my days in the embrace of my loving wife once more. What are you saying? We're going to die. That's enough. You've done well, Orson. I'll take over now. You may return to your beloved wife. Oh, that was a nice touch. He turned into a red unit. Who are you? We've never met. I am Terado. Loyal and talented aide de Volta, General of the Grado Army. You're that monsters, and you are General Seth of Rene, yes? I thought to catch a little bird on my nest, and it seems instead I've snared a hawk. I actually Emperor. like that writing. 
I mean, to be fair, he got the hawk and the bird, so. Yep, a little blue jay and a red robin. Demonetized. Where's my brother? Ah, yes, your brother. He's not here. The coward fled Lord Valter's pursuit. Somehow he escaped. And escaping under these conditions, <laughs> such stubbornness is quite annoying. It was my cunning that led us to turn this unfortunate blunder to our advantage. I spread the rumor myself. I led the villagers to believe he was our prisoner. What better trap with which to catch his sweet, devoted, and kind of obsessed, and very enamored sister? Uh -huh. My brother escaped? Yes, but your no doubt emotional reunion will have to wait until the afterlife. Let's end this, shall we? First, to destroy the bridge and cut off your only avenue of escape. Also, just to arms, kill the princess, take her bracelet. Princess Erica, we had to get away from this place. But how? The bridge is gone. Blast! Oh, brother. I'm so sorry, I... You're not dying. Shut up. Alright, let's see this map. You're not going to make this into a surprise fog of war map, are you? Just making sure. Okay, just checking to see if any of these have a door key, most likely. Nope. So, without a shadow no, of a doubt, I'm going to have to bring a thief. Unless a thief comes along, but we'll see. Plenty of soldiers here. I can probably get Namie some experience. Gilliam, too. Alright, I'll cut back when that's taken care of. And we are good. Now, you might have noticed already that I slotted in Namie. Because I'm hoping that we can do something with her. Something! I also brought in are Gilliam because... Hurt? He's close to leveling. Alright, Namie. Hooray, she killed something! That's already a significant improvement from last time! Hooray! Ugh, there's a Myrmidon here. Nasty. Luckily, Hatchet Man! Dead. Yeah. Iron Lance, maybe? Yeah, that could work. And now to take that javelin and check it. Oh, yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. Let's see. That door's locked. Does he have a key? He has a key. Ah! What is this room? Why? That better be something really good for y'all to have that much stuff going. I wish I had paid attention to that. Loot could have got some good experience there, as well as some loot. And if that's the logic, we're just going to cut straight up. Let the horsemen have their fun to the right left. I'm just saying, there better be something really good in that room between five... To put five in surround. Yeah. Eh? Erica! From Zephram. I hear some sounds from the East Corridor. Sound like fighting. Do you think it could be General Seth and Princess Erica? We have two goals here, men. Save Erica and vanquish the enemy. Kyle Ford, are you ready? Yes, Your Highness. As always, Lord Ephraim, we should join forces with Princess Erica first. We should be able to reach them by way of the Eastern Corridor. Come now, Kyle. That seems like a lot of trouble when we could just crush Grotto between us. A lot of trouble. Ford, you're as insolent as you are careless. If anything were to happen to Princess Erica, we knights of Renee would. Fine, fine. I see where you stand. Calm down before you boil over. Prince Ephraim will decide. 
How shall we proceed, your highness? We await your command, Prince Ephraim. Buthy, you follow me. Well, that was an unexpected twist. Sadly, I think that was a bad twist. Alright. Amy, how much can you do? Two damage? Okay, let's see if we can drop you to that. Hedge man! No! Damn it, Ross! Quit being good for a second! And that's my reasoning. You're being too good! Stop that! Uh, yeah, I guess I'll begin the... Time to take Colm with me. No, wait. I'm gonna have to send him up that way first. Because I think that was only a door key, which if we only have a door key to enter here, do any of them have a chest key? No, no chest key, so I'm going to have to have them up there. Damn it! Luckily, I can just set Ross up there, and uh, they're going to be dumb enough to try and fight him. Yeah, now I'm thinking back to the first episode. Sorry, what? The world they were practicing uh, fighting um, choreography, and uh, Tori came in and saw the beat to this and thought they were going to fight it. So she goes in, beats him up, and then just like out of nowhere. You know, everybody comes in and starts pulling Tori off of the dude. <laughs> and they're like, you play, uh... And it's like the, the, the guy, uh... The, you know, the teacher is like, wait a minute, whoa, chill, it's okay, this is Russ. And he's just like, I'm Russ. For some reason, I see, I see Russ being like that sometimes. Yeah... Wow, she's already a level 11. When yep. did that happen? Uh, that's a good question, because I don't remember. Okay, any other surprises? Oh, everybody else. Okay, time to unlock the door and let Ross just basically tank this entire room. <laughs> <laughs> He literally has nothing to fear. He's a tanky boy. And I think at most they're going to give him a little tiny scratch. Let's see, 10 with 6, 16. He has 9 defense. And I think there's only a handful that can reach him at the moment anyways. Yep, only a handful, so he'll be fine. But uh, just in case, I'm going to start moving my healer that way. As well as keep Seth parked by him, because the moment he opens that chest, straight over. His goofy smile. All right. I love, I love the goofy smile his portrait has. Hi. Okay, er Erica, uh, Ephraim, level up. <clears throat> Here. Dude, you're being shown up by your dumb sister. And his mortal words, nothing new there. Yeah, I'm just going to move Namie this way again. I know I've been flip-flopping her, but it doesn't matter. Oh, only one is going to get through. Okay. Okay, 
Is it time to upgrade to the big boy weapons? Okay, that'll do four. Is there anything that does less? Most likely not. I will be right back. Sorry about this. Minor hiccup there. Um, there's going to be at times where that's going to happen because, well, it's weathering on her side. As yeah. she puts it. Gotta love it when it rains. Okay, they're brothers, right? Yep, and they have a talk. Brother! Ha! Franz, how you been? Hi. Better than you? I should ask you. We'd heard you were captured by Grotto's men. I was worried. Worried? I ride with Prince Ephraim, little brother. Death will have a tough time catching anyone who rides with our prince. But it's not Aww. like we're, we've avoided trouble altogether, that's for sure. Hmm? Say, have you grown taller on me? I have. I've also finished my training. I'm now a sworn knight of Renee. You just watch. I'm going to be on par with General Seth one day. You want to be like the general, eh? What about me? Oh, I... Uh, I still want to be like you too, brother. Womp womp. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm gonna be like Seth one day. What about me? Erica, are I'm you well? Brother. Brother, is it really? You're alive. You're alive. Well, of course I am. After we escaped Renville, I thought I'd strike a blow against the Emperor himself. When I heard that you'd been waylaid by the enemy, however, I turned back to find you. Looks like my training was... my timing was impeccable. I'm so sorry. The irony is that I was trying to rescue you. All I did was interfere with your plans. What are you talking about? You came to help me, didn't you? Your efforts alone are enough to inspire me. Come on, Erica. The enemy awaits. Just fuck already! Alright. First things first. Take out the enemy's then Because you don't want that going on while you're in the middle of it. Says you. Oh, he has a I don't know. I mean, personally, I feel like it would just take away from the mood, you know? Yeah, you never know. I mean, they might have a thing for it. Alright, Amy can it. finally get a kill! Yep, there we go. That's what I wanted. Sad to javelin. Ugh! You invited the Putz Brigade. Hmm, are they sword calves? One of them is. Alright, I'm just going to equip the Ragon Leaf and set him there, basically. Ford, be a deer. Take him with you. Of course, I can't help but notice that we trekked through this map twice in this game. Yeah. Is this game shitting me right now? Uh... Really? Really? Two damage? Last one did two twice. That's just rude, man. Crit. <gasps> she did! Hooray! Then run him in. And we're just gonna park. Wait. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. We'll park him here with the iron axe. And if they really want to come down this way, they can deal with Gilliam. Eh, I'm not worried about that yet. Yep, everyone's parked.
Can one of you guys actually hit Ross? He's getting bored. <laughs> and I think when he gets bored, he starts to crit things. Like a mother trucker. Oh! Yeah, more strength. Perfect. Okay, who's this at the end of the hallway? Just a steel sword? Alright, Joshua. You know what to do. And because I know one of them has that bloody javelin. Eh, Eric. Ephraim should be fine. Stab. Okay, fine. You want to play it like this? There. Really? I mean, I understand weapon triangle, but really? I expected nothing, I'm still disappointed. Next turn he can move up. I can also move Natasha up here. Heal Gilliam. And you're right, saying Gilliam is far better than Gilliam. Yeah. It's like the difference between GIF and JIF. Guess which one I prefer to say. Uh, <laughs> nobody likes saying it GIF. It just sounds wrong. Joshua agrees. And choosy Joshua's choose GIF. Thank you, Ephraim. Really, you're not going to try I like try how they're essentially... <laughs> yeah. Ooh, good level up. Alright. Now I'm just going to have Ross do Ross stuff. Just, you know, sit up here, lure down the archer with a hatchet. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. An angelic robe. And I didn't bring Vanessa. You know it's a tradition, Rakana. I always use these on Pegasus Knights. Yes, but can't you just keep it and put it on her in a later chapter? Well, yeah, but then I couldn't complain. Alright. And we'll just have... Yeah. Rag and leave them. I'll find a hammer and staff at some point. And I'll just keep these two together to build up their lovely bond. Hmm. Eight, nine, nine. And he just has a steel sword. Eh, I'll keep feeding Joshua. He could use it. I like Joshua. It's nice to have a sword master who's not just an edgy emo. Yeah. This guy is just a traveler down on his luck. What? What? Huh? Uh... He has a longbow. The worst part is, it doesn't even look like he's facing the same direction. That's what's getting me right now. He's not facing the same- he's not facing the direction to... ...have damage the way I saw it. Amy, could you surprise me with a 2% crit here? No. No, but you got close. 
Get close on. She'll end up killing him. I'm gonna make sure of that. Okay, so if I run down into that little cubby, they can't reach him. Then who has the javelin? Kyle. Wait, before I do that? Okay. We're actually going to move. One last check. Okay, right and first set of stairs. I'm going to move Franz first. Then I'm going to move Kyle. And take the pure water. That's reducing the damage from the magic attack. Oh, he has a longbow. Of course he does! Everyone here does! It's a longbow bargain sale! Wrath would be very pleased. I miss Wrath. Here we go. Oh gods, why did they make the Christmas nights so bad in this one? Shoot me now, please. Thank you, Joshua. <laughs> you know, I'd be upset about that. But 15 skill, 10 strength, 15 speed. That's amazing. Okay. How much can you do against him? Oh, on the corner of fuck and all. <laughs> And you won't believe how many people probably won't get that one. Yeah, your little brother seems to be doing better than you, Ford. Just saying. 14. I mean, there might be some truth to that. I want to be like that. You know what? I'm taking your steel, Lance. Your brother needs it more. Is that... That blue one I'm seeing here, is that actually water? Yep, that's water. Why is there water in the middle of this map? That would be a good question, since it was here since last time we were here. 50?! I, I, I mean... Fifty! Oh dear. We're getting the evil walls again. Yep. Hooray! She got strength! We're moving up in the world! <laughs> Joking aside, I did actually like this map the first time we went through it. It's just... It feels a lot more manageable with, you know, more than two people. Yes, yes, I know that's right. an exaggeration. We actually had four people. I'm sorry for getting the numbers off. Oh, right. Well, don't there. apologize. Ooh, level up for Seth. There's the Jagan level don't I need always it. expect. Is that a thief? That's a thief. How do I deal with the thief? More importantly, oh, it's just a Thunderdome. Oh, okay, I was worried about nothing. Instead, I'll just set him up here with an Iron Axe. Wait, do any of them have a javelin? Steel, steel, no. Okay! Have fun, Ross! And we're going to use... I guess Kyle to break down the wild. The wild, yeah. Perfect. He can't. Okay, what about you, Franz? Can you break the wall? No. So it's going to be a two for no matter what. Ford, make yourself useful. There we go. Well, 
And in hindsight, I should have probably used Franz first because Kyle still has the pure water on him. But there's a simpler solution to that. Problem solved. I'm gonna have to run the thief back down, but it's gonna cost me a turn anyways, no matter what. Okay, and move these two constantly. Oh look, they finally hit Ross! Now he's angry. <laughs> oh man, oh, he just got fighting. skill. Oh man, he's a beast! Okay, bye. You see, we were having a good laugh. And then there's this motherfucker. Oh, just steal this. No worries, guys, right? Oh, you wanna steal? Okay. No problem, you can steal. Just don't expect to leave with it. <clears throat> he might actually get away with it. Although this javelin's getting passed around a lot. <laughs> Okay, Gilliam, get your shit back. Okay, he cannot kill. But, Namie could also block his way. Okay, yeah. Then we'll move Ross right here so he can get nice and healed. Wait. I originally had an idea, and I forgot it. There we go. Now they're gonna get nice and cozy together, and he still can't hit. Man, Naomi, you must be getting annoyed seeing a reflection of yourself from last mission. <laughs> and victory music. We'll just go ahead and park Gilliam down here on the stairs. Because I don't want to deal with anyone else. Okay, now I just have to waste two turns to open that and get Erica and Ephraim to the throne. And I guess a little brother-son time. Uh, brother-brother time. Yeah, that one. And let's also build up a relationship with Kyle and Ford. And because Fran seems to be interested in being like Seth, let's just have some conflict of interest there. <laughs> Okay, what kind of boss is Tirado? 40 health, general, silver lance! Ugh! How much will it hurt Ross? 17. Well, good thing I can just two, two range him. Hmm. My men were unable to finish the job, were they? It falls on me to show you my own special brand of power. He looks like he—he he looks like he—he's on drugs. I'm sorry. Ooh, a silver sword. I see that with with any like characters where their eyes are just 
slightly up towards the upper eyelid. It it seems more like they they they've been hitting something. <laughs> Hey, you go on ahead and give him fractional experience. He's still leveling up. <laughs> You're just making it worse for yourself in the end. Ooh, an Elysian Whip! Yep. That's gonna be fantastic. I'll go ahead and send that to the supply. Okay, let's move this little bunker fun to the right a little bit. There we go. Move Nami in. Then we'll start moving these two in. And let's see how much he can hit now. Soon. Alright, I'll cut back once he's dead. Alright. Did you miss the first? I turned on animations because I expected a crit. What was that? Oh, there's the crit. What? What's that? Which was kind of garbage. There was no hint or warning about that kind of debuff. Nothing. So I'm just going to leave it on because he's close to death either way. In fact, I'm going to do myself a solid here and uh, <clears throat> just pull her back. So let's see what he does. Very impressive. <laughs> However... I expect you'll wish you'd die here on my steel. Lord Volter is not nearly as merciful as I. Okay. Good level up, though. Okay, now let's see if either Erica or Ephraim can sell in throne. Nope, just Erica. So we gotta wait another mm -hmm. turn. Any support? No? What about down here? No? Are you fucking yet? <laughs> nope. Nobody fucking. So I guess I'll just end it right now. Now nah, give it a couple more turns. Why not? We're not in a rush. Oh, yep, there we go. Erica, are you alright? I am fine, brother. I'm right here, so please call me if you need anything. I'll always be nearby. Yes, thank you. But you do understand that I am here to fight, don't you? I cannot ask you to watch me constantly. I am your sister, not your ward. Erica. Wait, don't... What are you... You looked a little upset. I thought I would stroke your face like I used. <laughs> Oh, we need the we need the uh, the pro ZD, uh, pro skit of the of of him. So what, I oh, they Vulcan! The anime. Uh -huh. <laughs> Every time he opens his mouth to say, "I'm right here," that's all I'm hearing. Oh, me fucking! Please stop it! You're treating me like a child. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just an old habit. Besides, you're always the one who pestered me to do it when we were little. <laughs> don't you remember? No, I don't remember. That was such a long time ago. Uh, dear brother, please oh, try to remember where shot. we are right now. What would our companions say if they saw us in such a personal moment? I'm a devil already! <laughs> She's already beat Brad. Just get it over with. Yes, that would be embarrassing. <clears throat> Forgive no, me, I did not mean to do no, anything no. you would find unpleasant. N no, I didn't mean that. It's just... So you really do want me to stroke your face? <laughs> no, I mean, look! 
<laughs> you always did blush so easily. You haven't changed at all. Enough, brother. Oh my. You're starting to anger me. No, he wasn't. He wasn't angry. You don't lie to him. All right, I'll give it one more turn. Uh, that was funny. Okay, I'll be right back. I have to pee and I can't. I mean, I was about. I guess we'll be right back. Oh! We have a support. But because she had to go answer the call of nature, I guess we'll just sit here. All nice and patient like. So how are you guys doing out there? I always say I hope you are doing well out there, but how are you guys truly doing? Well, write down in the comments what you guys are up to, and hopefully it's nothing too illicit. Again, I'm no stranger to the darker side of things. Anyone who's read my work knows that. Oh yeah, I haven't mentioned it in a few episodes, even though I hate keep needing to mention it, because every time I do, it's cursed. I am an author. Every time I say that, I always screw something up. Every single time, it never fails. If it's in the written text, well, you'll fun suddenly find Muffrey's Law is very real. In real life, when I say it, I make myself look like a complete fool, and it's not going to change in a recording. But what? simply put, I do a lot of darker writing. Contract Made After Death was my first series. It's, um, it's definitely up there, although it doesn't hold up to today's standards, I have to say. Not political correctness, I don't care about that, but I mean just in terms of my own capabilities and writing skill. Just doesn't hold a candle. There's also Barrier Knox. Adult advisory content on that one, if you go looking for it. There's also To Be a Knight, the reason one I've been back. editing. Oh, hey, she's back! <laughs> Yes, I've been back. I said what earlier? You didn't hear me. Nope, nope, because I was in the middle of rambling. Okay, let's do the support real quick. <clears throat> hey, I've been hearing good things about you lately. Everyone's real happy you've been helping to heal them. Really? That's nice to hear. Aww. I do what little I can, but I'm glad if I've been helpful. Oh, you have been, rest assured. You don't just mend flesh. Your smile <clears throat> eases all our pain. So, I may have lost our bet... But everything's to have turned out for the best, right? Joshua, I just do what I can to help and to stay out of everyone's way. I'm just saying, you saved a lot of lives out there. You got other healers, I know, but you're more than that. I mean, we have motor to motor! Oh, yeah! <laughs> you're special. I made you the most cynical of our lot, but even I can see that. Joshua, you're far too kind. Don't be so humble. You deserve the praise. If... if you say so. Well, I do, so keep it up. I'll do what I can. Nice smile. Okay, I'm falling for you, Joshua. Stop! <laughs> oh, another support. With Kyle. Hello, Ford. Hmm? Oh, Kyle, how have you been? What are you doing out here? Are you... are you painting? No, I... well, yes. Actually, I'm not so much painting as sketching. I use this piece of charcoal to draw in shade like this. You know we're in the middle of a battle, don't you? Coulda fooled me! Hmm. What if someone attacks while you're you distracted? No, I've never really got... I'm, I'm sorry, but this is kind of a relatable moment for me. Um... I went to ITT Technical Institute when I was younger, and it was it, one of our classes was actually uh, actually gave us a sketchbook and a set of pencils. I never really used it because I don't feel like my drawing skills are up to par at all. So this is kind of a cute little scene for me. Hmm. Calm down, calm down. I just like to keep a record of our battles with these pictures. You're just rationalizing. You're a cavalier. It's time to start acting like one. Fine, fine, I'll stop. As you command, Sir Kyle, Commander of the Knight of Renee. 
Oh, brother. You had to make everything so difficult. If you don't want the hassle, stop telling me what to do! Then stop <laughs> fooling around on the battlefield. Sorry, what's that? You leave him alone. It's okay for him to sketch. Oh, no, I was laughing. But, uh... Like I said, it, it's a it's a cute team for you. Seriously, wasting my time on an idiot like you is just stupid. Huh? Hey, Did you just say <laughs> something? Nothing. If you have so much time to waste drawing, let's have a quick spar. What? You want to spar? Now. Yeah, that's right. I don't waste time. I take care of my weapons, my horse, and myself. And not just that, I also make sure our morale is good and our men are safe. You're thorough, aren't you? I'm a knight. It's my duty. You really need to take yourself less seriously. And you need to take your duty more seriously. Why can't you be like your brother? <laughs> okay, I'll give one more turn. Just one more. Nope. I do still have nope. those pencils, by the way. Yeah. Not so much as sketchy. And C's. Brother, I was worried. Ah, I screwed that up completely. I worried you, didn't I, Erica? And you as well, General. Yes. Not at all. We're happy you're safe. But tell me, Prince, do you know of Orson's treachery against you and Oliver Ney? Yes, though I learned of it all too late after we'd been trapped at Rinval. <sighs> I still find it difficult that after all of his years of service to Rene, I am morally responsible for his plight. Ephraim. Ephraim. What is it, Mir? Something's coming. He's drawing near. Dark, big, and great in number. I understand. It looks like we should get out of here. Um, brother? This girl. Yeah! Ephraim! This girl! Who? Oh, don't you start. But even I have the question, Ephraim, who the fuck is that? Her hair is indigo. Where did... Ah, that's a long story. For now, we must move. No, 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 no! You just brought her out of nowhere, like she now. was under your cape. Who? Where? See, Suffice to say, oh. Emperor Vigard has enlisted some otherworldly powers. We must warn everyone of the danger. Okay, what? Oh, don't tell me. Is it a guidance nope. chapter? If I save this, yeah. am I going to see a guidance chapter? Part of me feels like it is. I kind of had that inkling a when this started that we were going to be doing one later. I'm hoping it's not now later, but later. Well, there's only one way to find out, and sadly, this means that we have to conclude this chapter. This has been one heck of a ride today, and I hope it continues into the next one, so I hope you all have a good one. Sorry, I was taking a drink. See you later. <laughs>